Hello everyone and welcome back to another Pony and Wolf Productions video. My name is Visual Pony and today we are reading the story Fluttershy and Rarity's Magnificent Tea Day by Subman Dude. I have no idea about the story, as usual I will discover the story together with you, but I will be honest here, the main reason why I decided to narrate this is because of the cover image. I thought it's so freaking cute. Oh, diabetes. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, as always, I will remind you that you can actually subscribe to this channel. There's a button below this video. And if you are so inclined, you can become a channel member or you can thank us with a small donation using the thanks button below this video. Every dollar helps us need it and very much appreciate it. And also, a subscription to this channel is actually completely free. All you might have to do is to create a YouTube account. And with this, I will now start reading the story, but I will tell you this last thing. And that is that... I know it could be annoying to having to create a Google account or YouTube account to subscribe to this channel, but believe me, it helps out a lot. Like in the metrics and everything. T for two. Once upon a time, a brand new store opened up in Ponyville. Rarity looked at the sign as it was being unveiled and saw that it was a new place to get tea and treats and to drink the tea. Named Tea and Treats. Rarity was so excited she said, This is the perfect place to hang out with Fluttershy. In Fluttershy's house, she pet Angel Bunny and said, I wonder when Rarity is going to get here. I can't wait to hang out with her. And the best part is, it will be just the two of us. With no other ponies to worry about having to talk to her to constantly fear maybe staring at me. I only feel comfortable around my best friends and animals, no other ponies. Rarity came into Fluttershy's house. Guess what, darling? She said. Oh, Rarity, I'm glad you're here. I've been looking forward to hanging out with you all week, said Fluttershy. You want me to make some tea or something? That won't be necessary, darling. You know that old abandoned shop across from the boutique? Rarity asked. Well, some pony bought it, and now it's a tea room for us to drink tea at and eat pastries and stuff at. Doesn't that sound fun? Let's go! Rarity exclaimed. Fluttershy was nervous, but she didn't want to let Rarity down. Oh, oh, oh that sounds great. Fluttershy lied. Rarity could tell that Fluttershy wasn't as excited as her, so the two of them went to the shop together. Rarity and Fluttershy walk into the shop. The owner of the shop, whose name is Honeysuckle Potts, greeted both Rarity and Fluttershy. Rarity gave him a warm, Hello, darling! back, but Fluttershy just squeaked nervously. The two of them took their seats. Isn't this the most magnificent and charming little place you've ever seen, darling? Rarity asked. Fluttershy just nodded and blushed in embarrassment, because she worried that every pony was staring at her. A pony came up to them and asked, What can I get you to? Oh, darling, I'll take a delicious chamelai tea and cinnamon stick and just a squirt of lemon. Also good tasting and marvelous bee honey and stir all that together. Keep it at a nice warm temperature and bring it over on a cute little saucer and some wonderful garnish, darling. Rarity said. Okay, what about you? The pony asked Fluttershy. Um, just tea. The pony went back to get the tea for both of them. Finally, Rarity noticed that Fluttershy looked nervous. Darling, if you're feeling too nervous being here because of all the other ponies, you could have told me. I would never hold that against you, darling. If you want, darling, we can just go back to your home and hang out there. You don't have to go out of your comfort zone, darling. Rarity said. Fluttershy felt emotionally touched and uplifted that Rarity cared about her, but she didn't want to ruin Rarity's good time. No, I... I... I like it here. Fluttershy said. The pony brought them their tea. Oh, thank you ever so much, darling. Rarity said. Um, 
Yeah, thanks. Fluttershy said super quietly. She felt super embarrassed and shy and didn't even know if the server pony could hear her. Rarity drank her tea and it was the most yummiest tea she'd ever had. Fluttershy took a sip of hers and it was yummy and her tummy delicious too. Wow! Fluttershy said. This is the most magnificent and wonderful tea I've ever had. The two of them finished all of their yummy tea and then ordered more. They drank some more tea and both got a third cup. They kept getting more and more yummy tea. Peppermint, green tea, pumpkin spice, all the yummy flavors in the whole store. They then decided they were also a little hungry and Rarity said, I'll take a delicious and amazing crumpet. And I'll have a yum yum yummy croissant. Fluttershy said. They both ate their amazing treats and washed it down with delicious and perfect tea. I'm so glad I came here, Fluttershy said. They got more and more treats, like cookies, pudding, scones, bagels and lots of other tasty, tasty food. The place also even served amazing food, like soups and salads, so they got that too. Then Rarity wondered if they had cucumber sandwiches and they did, and both of them had one, and it was the most amazing tasting sandwich either of them had ever had. They then ordered an entire cake and ate it until they got so stuffed from all the tasty food. I couldn't eat another bite, said Rarity. Yeah, me neither, Fluttershy said. Darling, can we get the receipt? Rarity asked the waiter. Oh, wait, actually, Rarity, can we get another cup of tea first? Fluttershy asked. Oh, sure thing, darling. You should try the chamoline. Rarity suggested. Rarity got some yummy cream tea herself this time. Fluttershy's tea was the best thing she ever tasted and Rarity's was yummy, yummy, yummy too. They paid for everything and left the store. So, darling, were you not nervous to come here? To tell the truth, Rarity, at first I was kind of nervous being around all the different ponies in the shop. But after tasting that yummy tea, I was able to put all that aside. We should come here together once a week. Wouldn't that be fun? Fluttershy asked. Wow, that sounds magnificent, darling. Darling, I simply must say that I'm so proud of you for coming out of your shell like this. Rarity sat and gave her a platonic kiss on the cheek. Fluttershy blushed and remembered how happy she is to have a friend like Rarity. Truth be told, Rarity may even be Fluttershy's best friend of all. The moral of the story is that sometimes you really will not regret it if you try new things. Sure, maybe Fluttershy could have been more honest with Rarity from the start, but she sure was happy to have tried that new tea place after all, huh? Sometimes the things that we think we won't like at all end up being the things we like the most. The end. Hello and welcome back to Common Thomas Visual Pony, where well, I remind you that you can support Pony and Wolf Productions through the links down in the description below. Every dollar helps is needed and very much appreciated. And now let's get into the meat of the story because I don't think I can go on like this for much longer. Okay, <clears throat> let's get into the meat of the story, guys. Holy crap, what the hell? Um, I did not expect the story to be, um, like this. I will com- I will be completely honest with you guys. From a pure technical standpoint, the story is horrible. I mean, like, the author is jumping between tenses, between times, you know, at times it's, uh, he's writing in present tense, then he's writing in past tense. That is horrible. Um, didn't throw me off too much, so so I left it in for you guys to actually to actually see this. Um, and there are things here like Rarity's constant, darling, 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 darling. I'm sorry, but Rarity doesn't constantly do this. It's it's like the story is a parody of MLP, you know? Um, to each their own? 
I still liked it because the moral of the story is actually something that I completely support. You should try new things, otherwise you will never be able to, you know, expand your horizon. Um, but it would definitely, you know, um, benefit from an editor. With that, I will leave you for today and say, I hope that this story finds you well in body and mind.